find consolation by remembering the afflicted look around you to the right and to the left do you not see the afflicted and the unfortunate in every house there is mourning and upon every cheek run tears how many tribulations and how many people persevere with patience you are not alone in your troubles which are few when compared to those of others how many sick people remain bedridden for years while suffering from unspeakable pain how many have not seen the light of the sun for years due to their imprisonment having knowledge of nothing but the four corners of their cell how many men and women have lost their dear children in the prime of youth how many people are troubled or tormented find consolation with those that are worse off than you know that this life is like a prison for the believer and a board of grief and sadness in the morning castles are burst bustling with inhabitants then in an instant disaster occurs and they are empty and desolate life can be peaceful the body in good health wealth abundant and children healthy and yet in only a matter of days poverty death separation and sickness can all take their place and you dwelt in the dwellings of men who wronged themselves and it was clear to you how we had dealt with them and we put forth many parables for you you must adapt like the experienced camel which manages when necessary to kneel upon a rock you must also compare your difficulties with the difficulties of those around you and with those that have come before you you should realize that you are in good shape relative to them and that you have been merely been tricked by tiny difficulties so praise allah for his kindness be thankful for what he has left for you and seek recompense from him for what he has taken and seek consolation for those that are afflicted you have a perfect example in the prophet pbuh the entrails of a camel were placed upon his head his feet bled his face was fractured he was besieged in a mountain pass until he was forced to eat tree leaves he was driven out of makkah his front tooth was broken in battle his innocent wife was accused of wrongdoing 70 of his companions were killed he was bereaved of his son and most of his daughters he would tie a stone around his stomach to lessen the pangs of hunger and he was accused of being a poet a magician a soothsayer a madman and a liar all at the same time yet allah protected him throughout these severe trials and tribulations prophet zakaria was killed prophet yahya was slaughtered prophet musa was afflicted with great trials prophet ibrahim was thrown in fire may peace be upon all of them and the imam of righteousness followed them upon this path Umar was assassinated as was Usman and Ali may Allah be pleased with all them many scholars of the past have been flogged imprisoned or tortured or you think that you will enter paradise without such trials as came to those who have passed away before you they were afflicted with severe poverty ailments and were shit